Hey, how's it going, you slippery septiles? Today we're gonna be playing some games with Giratina Malamar. Uh, no Ultra Necrozma, no EXs or GXs of any kind in this deck. Uh, just Giratina. Uh, basically, how this deck works is we use Spell Tag to get ourselves a prize advantage in the single prizer matchups, and then in the, like the bigger GX matchups, um, we try and do that as well with Spell Tag to get ahead in the prize trade. But if we play something like a Picaram or a Zorak deck, we got the Larvitar to go ahead and try and give ourselves uh, an advantage in the prize trade, um, using him to one-shot the Picaroms and Zoraks as we set up the damage with Shrine, Spell Tags, Distortion Doors. Um, so yeah, this is the Tina Malamar deck. It's a super simple deck, super straightforward. Uh, if you're playing against a GX deck, uh, get the Shrine out there. Try and use Larvitar most of the time. Most of the big GX decks these days are weak to fighting. Playing against a non-GX deck, straight up just use Garatina. And then uh, use Spell Tag and Distortion Door to eventually give yourself an edge in the prize trade. So that's all I gotta say on the deck. Let's go ahead and play some games. First in this first game here, opening up with the Jirachi. I'll probably go ahead and Stellar Wish before I Cynthia because we do have Psychic Energies in the hand. That if I get a Treasure or a Ultra Mall, I could discard them. There's that Treasure. Uh, there's a Lily there as well, but our hand really isn't gonna get, gonna get low enough to be able to abuse the Lily. So here we go. Treasure, looking for that Malamar. Um, and I think we'll go ahead and Nest Ball for Giratina and attach to Giratina. Here, Nest Ball, there's the Tina. Inge's gonna make his way to the bench. Attach to the Tina and then Cynthia. Would ideally like to have to use the Distortion Door, but uh, can't get it all, all the time. There we go, another Inge to the bench. They might let loose turn one, so let's go ahead and just throw the spell tag down to Tina right now, and then pass over to our opponent. Uh, Drachi wakes up. Not going to really make a big difference, I don't think. Once again, we have another Tina in the hand. Um, but I do not want to put this Tina down without using Distortion Door. There we go. Viridian Forest. Just what I need. Get that Tina out of the hand. Might even Stellar Witch first again here to try and find... Well, we probably want the option. We might want to switch card. Well, we definitely want to switch card actually after Drachi, I think. So, not going to do what I just said. We're just going to go ahead and probably Viridian Forest away the Tina. Attach and then Lily. We'll see what our top deck is. And then go from there um, see what the the next play becomes um, my opponent so far has a pretty slow start themselves uh, a little bit slower than mine just viridian forest grab nothing and then it's cynthia into stellar wish a super slow start from our opponent actually just like about as slow as it gets here actually there we go though there's a treasure for our opponent and uh they're gonna start rolling in some inks in play there's an NK. all right so they're doing just fine now and they got a treasure as well Probably search out. Oh, another NK in hand. Okay, they they've been doing fine. Um, I kind of over under. I overestimated how uh, poor their start seemed to be. Not that bad at all. Apparently, they're just doing they're doing just great. Treasure here. I expect this to grab an attacker of some sort. Probably Giratina. I don't think they have it in this card pile yet. Nope. Probably see them grab Giratina with this. Oh, it's gonna be the Let Loose Mars Shadow. Okay. So my hand's not ridiculously good, but I had to draw supporter. Had energy attachment for turn, so I would have actually liked to have held this hand. I think. Um, their hand apparently had nothing going on at all, so they went with the let loose here. Um, still a fine hand from us, though. Nothing to complain about, really. <clears throat> could look to do... Uh, could look to go with a Guzma... Could look to go with a Guzma play here to get a knockout this turn. I think we'll see what our top deck is, and then maybe check Stellar Wish and decide from there. Because um, we could go with... Well, we could just Ultra Ball. Hmm. Could just Ultra Ball away. Ultra Ball and Psychic. I don't know if I really... I can always find a Psychic off that. That's why I'm thinking about getting rid of it like this. Yeah, let's go like this. Grab a Malamar. Um, this also means we might just retreat the Jirachi without using Stellar Wish. Um, now we have two Psychics in the discard pile. Um, so we can just Cynthia, see what we get. If we just go ahead and get another Malamar, and then we can Verdian Forest for an energy. Yeah, just like this. Uh, Verdian Forest, get rid of Giratina. Grab an energy, and then we can just hard retreat the Jirachi. Not even going to use the Stellar Wish, which is more than fine. Attach, Psychic Recharge, and then Psychic Recharge. And we're setting up just dandy here. Psychic Recharge again as well. Ooh, there we go. Go ahead and bench another Inke. I don't see a problem with doing that. The only, the only time that would ever become a problem is potentially if our opponent plays the... Um, oh, what's it called? If they play the... Coco. Um, what are we going to punch here? I think we're going to punch our own Giratina. They're probably playing Ultra Necrozma, so I don't want to punch my Jirachi. I don't want to punch my Malamar. Yeah, I think we punch our, our, our own Giratina here. I think that's going to have to be the play here. Yeah. 
think punching around Garotina is just the play. Even though it makes it a little bit easier for Ultra Necrozma to potentially KO it. Um, I think this still works out a little bit better for us overall. We'll see. We'll see how the game still ends up developing from here. But yeah, I think that is um, the appropriate play for the situation. Yeah, and we got the spell tag rolling. Going to look to just keep those coming out on Giratinas, and that's how we're going to get ahead in the prize trade. It's going to be a back and forth, probably one for one prize trade for a while. Um, I doubt our opponent is going to try and use any GX Pokemon. They don't want to. Using GXs really does not benefit them at all. Um, when I'm only using Giratinas and I have spell tags, um, it'll allow me to get ahead in the prize exchange, potentially if they use GXs. So they're probably just going to be able to look to just use uh, Giratina themselves early on here. And then we're going to look to get ahead in the prize trade by moving the spell tag damage to stuff on their bench. Um, stack it up like the Marshadow is pretty easy to KO after two spell tags. Maybe we'll catch a Malamar as well I'll just kind of have to see how many distortion doors we get off and uh, how many spell tags they actually trigger Because um, they'll definitely be looking at Guzma around our Giratina pretty often um, or as often as they possibly can and Kind of ignore it um, Avoid the spell tag damage. Um, there's their Giratina finally finally come and see the light of day uh, yeah, definitely their optimal attacker in the situation. There's an escape board. There's a Cynthia. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they are able to get off an attack this turn. I'm not sure if they've used the Viridian Force yet. I wasn't fully paying attention. I don't think they have. Um, so they need two Malamars. And then Viridian Force will be able to get them another energy for this Kiratina. But I guess they may be able to use it to bump the Tina to the discard pile. Um, so maybe they have used Viridian Force already. There's one treasure. They can also get out Triple Malamar, I guess. Triple Malamar is also a possibility here for our opponent. We'll see what they end up with. Uh, definitely going to focus down the Marsh Shadow with the Spell Tag damage. Uh, remove that free retreater from play on our opponent's side. Don't want them uh, freely retreating with this uh, Marsh Shadow whenever they want. Definitely want to limit that from our opponent. Uh, there's another Marsh Shadow or Malamar. We'll see what this last card in hand is. If it's going to be able, if it's going to be enough for them to be able to attack this turn. Haven't seen anything. I don't think they've used a Viridian Force, but they maybe have. And if they have, then that means they're probably not attacking this turn. It looks like they may be whiffed. Nope. Last card, energy in hand. Okay, okay. And yeah, Shadow Impact. But they're, they're working off a zero card hand currently, uh, which isn't actually too big of a deal because they have the Viridian Force in play and they have the Free Retreater in the Marsh Shadow. Like I said, we're going to ping the Marsh Shadow quite a bit here. Um, I'm also going to ping this NK twice, I think. Yeah. Um... Uh, we're not going to overping the march out just in case they do play the ace of Rolla. we don't want them to be able to like remove all the damage from play but if they do knock out another guaranteed with a spell tag we will be able to knock that thing out all right skateboard is awesome here um yeah skateboard's great i'm gonna go ahead and bring a giratina back from the discard pile yeah ping here and here uh, spell tag to the Giratina. Viridian Forest away. I think the switch card. Get an energy. And then Lily for five. And then we'll see about Stellar Witch after that. There's a shrine. Definitely want to go ahead and throw that out. Um, I think I will treasure away this Jirachi here. I don't expect them to chase our Jirachi. Um, and it really doesn't hurt us if they do. So I'm not too worried about it. The Malamar and then Stellar Wish switch spell tag is the hardest thing for us to find, so we're gonna take the spell tag for sure. Just want to keep those in play at all times, keep them moving. Set up this Tina, might bring out the other Tina here and go ahead and throw a psychic recharge on that guy as well. Could just chill. Um, I think we'll just go with the chill for right now. Not essential. It doesn't increase the amount of distortion doors we really get in play throughout the whole game by bringing it out now. See, I don't really see it being essential to bring out that other Giratina now. Just go ahead and ping our own Giratina because they're going to probably be hitting us with Giratina on their turn. Um, yeah. Uh, this is possible they whiffed this turn. We did find the counter stadium. Um, so they got one random prize card plus one random top deck. Nothing was kept from their last hand. Um, they only need an energy, a Viridian Force. There's, there's many outs for them to actually be able to attack this turn. A Malamar also works. They just bring the Tina back out of the discard pile. Malamar down. Take a knockout. Then we will be able to take out their March Shadow finally. Um, and then we're going to start to work on this uh, Malamar over here with Distortion Doors and Spell Tag Damage. Uh, so we'll see what they end up getting here. See what they end up having. See if it's going to be enough. Um, yeah, They don't need much this turn. Yep, there's the Beast Energy. So yeah, definitely not 
what they want to put down there, but I don't know if it's really that relevant ever in this matchup. Um, so we do know they are playing Ultra and Cosmo. Weren't really sure before, but oh no, they had that Metal Energy before, so we knew before this turn. Yeah, so we knew they were playing Ultra Necrozma. That's fine, yeah. Now we know for sure they're playing Ultra Necrozma as we see the uh, Beast Energy come down. But I guess once we saw the Metal Energy, it's about the same thing. Um, I mean, seeing the Viridian Force pretty much tells you it's Ultra Necrozma to begin with. Um, but yeah, definitely Ultra Necrozma for sure now. <laughs> Lock that up. Confirm that. Um, and here they come. Shadow Impact. And we're just going to be trading Shadow Impacts back and forth here. There we go. Shadow Impact. I'm going to ping three times on the Mars Shadow, once over here on the Malamar, and then Distortion Door back. And knock out the Marsh Shadow. Two, three, and then once to this guy. All right, sounds good. Send up the Jirachi. Let's see. Bring it back the. Hmm, we might want to know because uh, it would be a spell take out of hand anyway, so it's about even. So we may as well see our prize card first. Ping the Marsh Shadow. Ping the same Malamar. Get a prize card. It is a Cynthia. That's great. Definitely play that this turn. Attach to the Giratina and Cynthia. Only thing we're really looking for here constantly, I think it's spell tags. It's like the only thing we constantly want to see. Um, go ahead, it's like three charge. Giratina. I don't think the Larvitar is super relevant in this matchup, so I might go ahead and Ultra Ball that away. It's like three charge one more time. Um, yeah, I could Ultra Ball away Larvitar, plus the Nest Ball is what I'm thinking actually here. Um, have an Ultra Ball still in hand. Yeah, go ahead and grab Garatina as the Ultra Ball fodder for later down the road. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with a Stellar Wish here. There's another Spell Tag. That's all we want to see. Going to go ahead and grab it. And yeah, from here on out, all we need is, is Spell Tags. That's all we need. Um, I could attach to this Garatina, but I don't think that's really necessary once again gonna keep cruising like this um could put an energy preemptively down on jirachi once again don't think it's necessary shadow impact knock out their giratina and we're gonna go ahead and hit our own giratina again once again for 40 and now we're up by two prizes um and this is kind of where we just start to take over the game i think i don't know if there's gonna be a whole ton they can do they can go with on this turn they could actually go with uh giratina giratina ping these two twice and then ultra necrozma gx attack which would be a little bit annoying, and they'd be able to knock out both of these Malamars. Set up this Malamar and this Giratina, or this Jirachi to be knocked out through uh, Giratina's Distortion Door. I don't even know if that would be enough for them to win the game, actually, at this point. Uh, we get a free Shadow Impact on our next turn. On to the Ultra Necrozma, potentially. I don't know. We'll have to see what our opponent has. And yeah, there's the conceit from our opponent. Yeah, got ahead in the prize exchange, and then the spell tags kind of kept us ahead from there. Um, so yeah, that's how that matchup usually goes. Definitely slightly favored, I think, for our build of the deck, um, but only slightly. The matchup is still pretty close between the two uh, Malamar decks. They can always, if they get off enough distortion doors, they can clean up like double Malamar in a turn with Ultra Necrozma, which can be really annoying to try and come back from. But yeah, that one was pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and we take that one uh, with ease there. Another one here, opening up the NK. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, opening in case fine. Let's see a ball picks off the start. No idea what we're playing against. There's a great ball, so I would assume a Zorark deck for sure. That is fine with us. Zorark is not. Uh, oh, there's a Chikorita. Oh man, is it the good old Greninja deck? Uh, we'll find out here shortly. I think it might be. So we definitely want to hold on to our Guzmas here. Then we can go ahead and throw down the shrine though before we Lily. Ultra Ball. Ideally, our top deck plus one of the Psychics and then attach to a Giratina. Um, it's not super important for us to attach to the Giratina. Oh uh, yeah, not quite sure what we're playing against, but we're going to find out soon. Definitely want to throw down this guy. Definitely kind of want to retreat into the Jirachi as well, so I'm going to do that and then Ultra Ball. We're just going to go for a full, fresh uh, six cards here. Going to go ahead and just get a Inke, or eight cards here <clears throat> off the Lily. And Lily for eight. Boom, 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 boom. Treat into the Jirachi. Don't think this is getting knocked out at out knocked out next turn at all. I think it's gonna be chilling. Um, spell tag is the only thing that potentially does anything for us, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab that. We've already attached. Everything's dandy. I think we're just gonna go ahead and pass. <clears throat> Back over to our opponent. Um, so we're looking at Ultra Balling next turn. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna get Giratina or a Malamar. We'll probably actually Stellar Wish first. 
because uh, if we do find another way to get uh, Ultra Malamar or Giratina, we would probably go ahead and get the uh, other one with this one um, to try and find both. That's what I'm trying to say here. All right, so they got out the combo. It's going to be Nine Tails into the Meganium, and then we'll finally see what we're up against. I have no idea what we're playing against here. Um, all I know is that they play Nine Tails and they play Meganium. That's all I know. That's the extent of my knowledge of. Uh, current situation there was a looker's whistle and a rare candy so they're definitely using lookers this turn i think this might be the old school uh well now old school greninja gx deck um definitely winnable for us we just need to start swinging uh we just need to get to the point where we're swinging and then then we're kind of set from there here comes another meganium so two meganiums are going to be set up already and who knows what else they could potentially set up it's gonna be rare candy meganium ability get out another meganium and then they could even get out another stage two pokemon if they wanted to if they have the capability to with the current hand it looks like okay they don't have the second meganium that's good we might go ahead and just let loose them here as well try and reset this beacon hand um and then once again we can punch we're gonna probably punch our our own dude all right um i am gonna sell our wish there's that treasure i wanted Boom, this is perfect. Uh, treasure, get rid of. Ooh, I think the spell tags will actually be useful, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to the spell tags right now. Um, yeah, I think the spell tags have potential to be pretty good, actually. I'm gonna Ultra Ball away the Tina plus the Lily. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all the spell tags. We're gonna hold on to all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Malamar. All right, we're fully set up to be able to attack this turn. I would still like to let loose my opponent here. We're gonna Distortion Door. These guys have 150 HP, so we definitely can ping these twice and then start picking them off, potentially. Um, Malamar. Malamar, not really worried about the Nine Tails just yet. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here, and Cynthia. No access to let loose, that's unfortunate, uh, but it's not the worst thing ever. We will live gonna go ahead and start shadow impacting probably punch our own garatina here uh we still don't know fully what our opponent is playing um we simply have an idea here we go shadow impact and knockout yeah gonna punch our own garatina here shrine damage is gonna rack up on the nine tails we did lose a guzma early on which i think might come back to punish us a little bit uh yeah for sure i think that's probably gonna come back to punish us the loss of that Guzma. We won't be able to chase down these Meganiums and such like we want to. Um, I definitely see that bit potentially coming back to punish us. We'll see. I think this is the, the Greninja GX deck where you kind of like mill through your deck um, and then end up with just uh, Greninja GX sending up Greninja GX. Um, in this matchup, they can actually send up a Slacking, which would be super annoying. So we definitely want to look to... Oh no, it's the mill deck. There's a Rhyhorn. Okay, so it's the mill, the mill, uh, mill meganium deck. I think this might be a little bit tough for us. We'll have to find out. Um, the shrine is thankfully probably going to stick for a really long time though. So the nine tails will just like eventually get knocked out. We have to try and not draw too many cards. Um, here comes a quick ripening herb, getting down another meganium. Um, we didn't get another ping on this meganium, so we're not going to be able to KO this. Um, could potentially set up both to get knocked out. No, not quite. Here comes another Rhyhorn, and uh, the Rhydons are going to come out. Probably going to try and sit here and just hold this hand for a while, have the stretcher, put three Pokemon back in, and continue to keep doing that. No Pokemon there. That's fine. Nothing else important went either. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to sit here. Shadow Impact. Thinking about... Nah, it's just Shadow Impact. Thinking about going for the Let Loose, but I think we'll hold off on that for a turn or two. Let's go ahead and smack this guy. Uh, these guys have 160 HP. Damn, the HP on these things is just all so high. It's going to be hard for us to get through all this HP. Uh, but I think definitely knocking out the Meganium here will definitely be worthwhile. So if we can knock out this Meganium and then maybe um, treasure away this Tina next turn and then knock out this Meganium um, the following turn or like give ourselves that option through Guzma. Um, although I doubt they would send it. They might send it up into the active knowing I can't KO it. So we should probably go ahead and ping the 10 damage on it before that happens. Um, once again, the Ninetales will eventually get knocked out. We'll probably send the other Distortion Ping to the Ninetales. 
uh, expedite that process. Here is a Wondrous Labyrinth. Not a big deal for us. We have another Shrine in hand, or we could just attach again even. There's a Scoop Up Heads. That's probably going to come down on the Meganium. Maybe the right, the right Purier. Um, we'll see what they go with here. Yeah, this is definitely like an awkward matchup for us because we don't have any way to one-shot stuff. We're kind of slow on the one-shotting, so early prizes are important for us, which we're only able to get one of um, before they really started ramping up on us. Yep, yeah, here we go. They send up the Rhyperior. Chikorita makes his way back to the bench. And then uh, quick Ripening Herb to bring him back into play. And then they can go ahead and quick Ripening Herb again. Another Rhyperior out if they have it. Uh, we'll see if they've got it. So yeah, the Nine Tails will get knocked out eventually. So that's like almost always worth two prizes. We just need to get to the point where it gets knocked down. Uh, we can kind of start to speed through this one. Um, I'm trying to think. Mm. Yeah, just go ahead and Shadow Impact again. And hit on I think we might just KO our own Garatina so we can actually get access to more Distortion Doors. I think that might be the play here. Uh, we can KO our own Garatinas. We can constantly keep Shadow Impact and KO in our own Garatinas. Get access to extra Distortion Doors. And then go from there. There's an Ace of Rolla. So much healing. So much not one-shotting. Uh, we're going to keep going, though. We're going to keep trucking through. They're going to mill another three cards here. Just have to keep uh, rolling with the punches. But this, this definitely seems like a tough matchup. I've never played this deck, this matchup before. Um, not that it's a very common matchup. Let's see. Gonna go with... Kinda wanna kill my Garatina, but I kinda don't wanna give him an extra card. Um, so I'm kinda thinking about this one, but then we'd get another Distortion Door, which could be pretty cool. Shadow Impact, I think we will KO our, our own Garatina here. Yeah, let's go ahead and KO our own Garatina. We'll get access to another Distortion Door, which means we can soften stuff up. Um, go ahead and we'll get access to Jirachi as well if we want to get access to that. Uh, looking definitely a little bit sketchy. We can draw three prizes next turn. Um, we have one Guzma left, which we definitely want to like draw before our opponent mills it. So we're definitely going to dig for that with Stellar Wish. Try and draw into our last Guzma. That could be a big deal for us being able to continuously take knockouts. We can get a three prize turn here, though, this turn. Um, and start to keep building from there. There's a scoop up. No heads, please. Oh, it's a heads. Meganium is going back. That is definitely annoying. Yeah, I think this one's going to start to... Oh, it's going to be after the Rhyperior, though. All right, that's good for us. They're like, okay, you can KO the Meganium, I guess. Unless they have an Ace Arola in hand as well, um, which would also be super annoying. We'll see what ends up happening here, though. Quick Ripening Herb. At least one Rhyperior is coming down. Mill three. Just don't want them to mill the... They milled the Guzma. No, they milled the Guzma. Okay. So, worst uh, worst possible outcome has just happened. They did mill the Guzma. Um, there's a Gladion for their turn. But we can go ahead and draw three prizes this turn. We could actually KO... No, we can't KO both. We could KO both Meganiums, actually. I think we should probably go for that. We can go for the double knockout on both Meganiums and really set our opponent back here. I think that has to be our play. Um, can we go for the double knockout on the Meganiums? Yeah, we have to put all three Giratina into play, um, but we would be able to KO both Meganiums, so I think it's probably worth it. Um, there's even a switch from our opponent into a Rhyperior. Uh, that means we can for sure KO this Meganium with just Distortion Door. Maybe we'll get the KO on both Meganiums, though, I feel like. Um, one here, one here. KO on Meganium, get a prize card. And then, you can do it again. Distortion Door, KO Meganium, and then push a little bit of extra damage onto this, uh, guy here. And then we have the Attach. Uh, Psychic Recharge. Nothing really to dig for off the Jirachi, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave as many cards in the deck as possible. Psychic Recharge, and then we're gonna Guzma knock out the Meganium, try and buy ourselves a little bit of time here. Really hurts that we lost that other Guzma. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and punch this Garatina on the bench. Um, look to possibly KO him. Um, and get access to more Distortion Doors. The more Distortion Doors, the better. Um, yeah, if we can KO him again, we can maybe get enough damage on this Nine Tails to take the knockout on that. Um, we don't want to let them know we do play three Garatina. Kind of want to kind of hide that information so that maybe they think we just won't be able to knock out the Nine Tails as fast as we actually can. 
Um, yes, yeah, so try and hide that info if possible. Could have also let loose this turn, I guess, and kind of disrupted their hand. That wouldn't have been terrible um, to potentially set them back. They had a pretty big hand, and we just killed both Meganium, so maybe that actually was the correct play, was to um, also let loose them in the same turn. There we go. Stretcher for three there from our opponent. And a stretcher for one probably on this Chikorita here. If I had to guess, yep, Chikorita to the hand. Uh, they do have like two rare candy left, maybe a third. They have power draw as well, so I don't know how good the let loose is. I might just save the let loose to actually save my hand. Um, there goes our shrine, so we're going to lose the ping damage on the nine tails. This one might be slipping away again all of a sudden, actually. Yeah, maybe saving the let loose to actually reshuffle our hand is the better way to go here. They are starting to run out of steam, though. They're down three super scoop ups. One of the Acer Roll is gone. I don't really remember how many Acer Roll this deck plays. I'm um, just going to keep trucking through Shadow Impact. We have one Shrine left. I'm not sure how many Stadium this deck actually plays. I actually don't even know if they play Lucimine, so I don't know if they could get more Stadiums back. I think Brooklet Home might be their last Stadium. They might play two Brooklet, one Wonder, Wondrous Labyrinth. That's also possible, I guess. We'll go ahead and we'll see here shortly, I assume. Yeah, if we had that last Guzma, Axis to the last Guzma, we definitely could win this game. We just need to draw one more prize and then pick on this nine tails eventually uh, before they potentially healed it it's definitely possible they could heal it before that happened but i think we would uh, definitely have time to get there um yeah, it's looking like we might be actually okay in this one um they are they can't win next turn for sure um even if they pull off the charizard gx attack to mill 10 cards plus a riperior that wouldn't win the game um so next turn when we draw a card we are going to have to cynthia to reset our deck to make sure we're safe from that combo um, but then once we establish we're safe from that combo, um, I think we're, we're pretty good. If we thought that Let Loose, we would probably play Let Loose and then start Shadow Impacting the Let Loose so then we can stretch her that back. Um, that would also work. Um, so yeah, now we definitely need to Cynthia. Could check for the Let Loose, but that does take two cards out of our deck. Um, so I don't really want to do that. I think we're just going to chill. If we draw the Let Loose, we drew the Stretcher, so if they mill the Let Loose, then we can go ahead and get it back with a Stretcher. So that's just as fine. If it's prize here we are drawing a prize card so maybe we're on to it and then our opponent concedes so it looks like we did just enough the shutting down of the double meganium i think was just enough to keep them out of the game uh maybe they didn't quite have enough resources to rare candy and set up the charge guard and go from there uh who knows just enough though to win that one there in the end and that's gonna do it for this video guys on the giratina malamar deck i hope you enjoyed it i've always been a fan of this deck but i don't think it's like quite the most competitive at all times it has its good matchups and it has its bad matchups and i feel like they're uh they're definitely uh far they're definitely pretty evenly split on the good and bad matchups it feels like a lot of the time zork is really tough um can get there sometimes with the larvitar but zork is still definitely tough um but your good matchups like the um one prizer decks are, are very good um and then i feel like the peak around matchup is also pretty good but then uh like straight zap can be tough so it has its good matchups it has its bad matchups definitely a fun deck to play definitely fun to play a deck without any gx's in it um always enjoy that but that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it be sure to give the video a like if you're enjoying the content be sure to subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section down below um check out the links to uh my live stream as well as my social medias in the description below have a good day thanks for watching and peace